Hi friends, I'm Sincerely Unique, and we are back with possibly the final quest of the Exquisite Night Chimes 2023 Lantern Rite event here. Oh my god, I opened up the wrong thing. Anyway, yeah, we have another quest here that magically showed up. There's still one more phase that'll open up in two days, North America time, so I don't know if there's going to be more story there or what. This is Between Facades and Familiar Faces. It is now time to attend Hu Tao's dinner. You head to Shinwe Kiosk with Paimon in tow. I am not on the wrong thing. There we go. I also need to change the time to 1600. Oh. <laughs> the time change mechanic is so awkward. I've been enjoying this event. I'm thank you, thank you so much for the support on my part two video. My part two video did got significantly better support than my part one. Possibly because people liked part two, you know, way more than part one in general. Which honestly, I can agree with that sentiment because part one really was just kind of a typical event start quest. <laughs> Wait. Where am I going? <laughs> I think I got the time messed up. I need to I need to get it together. I'm so sorry. Please. Please. There. Oh. oh, I forgot there's a cooldown on changing time and it takes so long. That's one of the most awkward features about this is that I can't change time that quickly. I think I still did it. Oh my gosh. I'm so dumb. Okay. Now we have to wait again. I'm so sorry. There. Now we're actually on the time we're supposed to be in. Where am I going? It's almost time for us to join Hotel for dinner. It's almost time. It's the place with a really long wait list. Oh, long wait list? I think we have to go here for Ganyu's story quest. Let's go. Oh, yay, cutscene. Oh, so that's how it is. Oh, Zhang Li's here with the freaking Liyue Trio. Oh, God, he's autoplay. I've heard that your knowledge encompasses all things old and new, Mr. Zhang Li. But I never knew that you were well versed in the art of cooking, too. He knows it because of Guoba. <laughs> no need for I love this music. I too feel humbled to be in the company of such talented young people. There are many. They're certainly young compared to you. Oh, you flatter us. Um, Chong Yun in voice acted possible, content. Wow. May I trouble you to provide a few words of guidance for my practices in exorcism? <laughs> exorcism. I can't say I'm an expert in the field. Zhang Li, you know, you like, mind, everything. You've been long around here longer than, like... Oh, there's so many people here. So many people. All we knew was that hotel invited Zhang Li over. Yeah, I remember I this cutscene exactly from the trailer. We had a bunch of Liyue people just chilling around this table. Everyone. Happy Lantern Ride. Likewise. Please take a seat. But of course. Happy Lantern right. Happy Lantern right. I just realized Xiangling's hair reminds me of... I know it's not supposed to be what it is, but it looks like Wolba's ears. I don't know if that's supposed to be the point of it. It's probably not, because that's actually like a style of hair. But <laughs> it just reminds me of Wolba's ears. I become musically cultured. Me too. I've seen Xin Yan perform before, but this is the first time I've watched something like this. <laughs> I heard that the audience loved it too, and she's been receiving quite a lot of performance invitations lately. Aw, Shinyan. Well, I'm glad that Shinyan is popular because people were scared yeah. of her. And they asked us to the pass first. Their season's greetings to everyone. They hope we'll have a wonderful gathering. The performance was spectacular indeed. However, it gave Xiang Ling a huge burst of inspiration, <laughs> which in turn gave us a bit of a headache. Us? Did Xiangling ask you to try out her dishes, too? 
<laughs> that, my friend, is beside the point. Oh no. Watching you eat was enough for me. <laughs> Sing Chu knows. Oh, Sing Chu knows. I probably shouldn't have burdened Chong Yoon with eating my share, too. Oh no. This reminds me of the times that Sing Chu would troll Chong Yoon. See? Someone here knows how to encourage people. Thanks, Paimon. I think there is a voice oh, line about that and I somewhere. I thank Mr. Zhongli, too. He gave me lots of useful pointers that really drove it home for me. Uh -huh. Oh, so that's what you were talking about before we arrived. Yes. Since we'll be dining together, the topic of our conversation naturally revolved around cooking. Chongling's mm -hmm. ideas are truly unconventional. Yeah, our because of Guoba. ingredients and spices are comparable to a melody dancing on the tongue. Wow. My suggestions were nothing more than the icing on the cake. Oh, the two of you always deliver. <laughs> now I'm getting embarrassed. Anyway, I'll get everyone to have a taste after I've adjusted the recipe based on Mr. Zhang Li's advice. <laughs> hmm. That sounds like it might become a little safer to eat. How about I sample the dishes next time? Speaking of eating, Paimon feels like we're missing someone. What are you missing? Oh, Hoja was the one who invited us, but she's not here. And... Uh, Guoba! Oh, uh, I have totally forgot about Guoba. I'm reminded of Moon Chase oh, when Guoba was just running around randomly in the cutscenes. Lantern, right? Without Guoba helping out, I Moon Chase was one of the last events I remember my friends enjoying. As for Hu Tao, but then she quit. The Genshin. Went to collect a guest. We're not even friends she anymore, actually. Here and host you for oh the my god, now we're getting sad in the middle of this cutscene. Seems like it's almost time. Huh? Hu Tao went to fetch someone in person? Oh, that must mean they. I'm trying to remember who it was from the screen from the trailer. Was it Xiao? Kuching? Ningguan? Or. Ganyu? She didn't clarify. And as her subordinate, I couldn't just pry I forget that Zhongli is technically the employee of Hu Tao. Suddenly, the door to the restaurant burst open as if struck by a hurricane. Who's with you? She sounds so proud of herself. Uh, we're not late to the party, right? You right. and who? Good thing the conqueror uh, of demons and I are both as swift as the wind. Wow, the you got a show here. Paimon's so shocked. I'm shocked. I'm excited. Look at him. Hi. Hello, Xiao. That, <laughs> look at Ether. Even Ether's oh. so happy. Uh, actually, um, if you if you saw my so Lantern Ride promotional video reaction, Xiao and the Traveler spent Lantern Ride together, to and it's everything I wanted. The director didn't mention anything when she invited us. Mm -hmm. What a pleasant surprise. Gathered here with us tonight are not only young and accomplished individuals, but also the protector of Leo's peace. His Adeptus true name, Aleatus. To convene here with all of you is indeed a great honor. Uh. <laughs> yes, because they're not supposed to know that he's Morax. Smile. Hint, hint. Don't tell him. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. It's almost lantern right. Yet you took all the trouble coming here. Oh, Xiao, you're so short. <laughs> it's father and son moment. The director has a way of making it difficult to decline. Of course. Lapis, may I ask what troubles you? Rex the director Lapis. asked me to buy sesame oil in preparation for the celebration. Ooh, I love sesame oil. Then why would you come all the way to Wangshu Inn? I had a pleasant chat with Chef Yen Xiao and received some spices from him. And... See? Mm -hmm. Here's some matsutake and a portion of ham. What about the sesame oil? Hmm. It's a shame. Yay. I couldn't find the kind the director was looking for. I'm sure you're exaggerating, Zhang. <clears throat> Sir. Zhang. Just call him Zhang Li. Xiao is so awkward. He's like, he doesn't know how to pronounce his call him. He doesn't know what to call him. Some of us are even old acquaintances, so there's no need to be this formal. Yeah. I heard that the Conqueror of Demons and the Traveler are pretty close, no? Yeah, you could say. Wow, they must be really good friends. Great. 
You two sit together. You two sit together. You should take a seat too, Director. <laughs> oh, finally remembered me. When we arrived just now, the host at Shinue Kiosk told me our dishes are almost ready. Perfect timing. Very perfect Let's not timing. Let's any longer and ask them to bring up the food. The delicious looking food arrives and a pleasant scent fills the air. Oh, look at the scene. Why is there still an empty chair, though? I'm trying to remember who was supposed to be there. Oh, that's also the first I've heard of the Traveler and Paimon being friends with the Conqueror of Demons. You know mm -hmm. Xiao Qiu? Knowing is a bit of an overstatement. Wait, isn't, I think Changyun does have a voice line him. about Xiao. I just forgot about it. You might not <laughs> know this, Paimon, but... We exorcists have worked in close collaboration with the Conqueror of Demons for many <laughs> generations, dispelling evil together, both in the open oh, and from the shadows. Oh, for shadow. many generations with his clan? Oh. To Hu Tao, I've finally gotten the chance to meet him. Conqueror of Demons, oh. I'm honored to make your acquaintance. Likewise. It is a great honor indeed to have a chance to meet the legendary Conqueror of Demons. Chang Yun has brought that name up quite a few times in the past. Okay, close this I remember time. you mentioning wanting him to understand the importance of exorcists. Ahem. <laughs> Chang Yun's trying to stay cool. Uh, we know each other too. You do? Oh, wait, of we course. I my dishes during the masterful chef's cook off. <laughs> yeah, you mean. I didn't think we'd have the chance to meet again. I'm trying Happy to remember, was Xiao there during the moon chase? No anecdote, however, compares to meeting you in person. I don't, it's I'm been so Xiao. long, I don't remember, Xiao man. Xiao friend. The oh, pleasure is all mine. Whoa. We're getting to the point in Genshin the where they're referencing I such old say. content that I'm just like, uh, I know I was there, but do I really remember doing anymore. it? Uh, Adeptus Xiao, mighty conqueror of demons. Please Adeptus Xiao. Do do do, adapt the shower. Do do do. I love that audio. <laughs> Belated isn't right the exactly right word to use here. I'm tried very hard to look for a fancy <laughs> word. Okay, don't be too harsh on Paimon. There's no need to be so polite. You're right. This was meant. I want to be, be very friendly with Shao. Between friends, after all, too much formality kills the atmosphere. <laughs> I didn't plan this gathering only for everyone to walk on eggshells. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. What's your true intention, then? A little get together between friends, sipping the finest tea, and watching lanterns float into the sky, <laughs> bidding farewell to the past, and embracing the present with joy. And that is something our consultant would say. I think it deserves a standing ovation. Our consultant. Gosh, I hate that word consultant because I'm Indeed. typically a consultant as well. Exceptional acting skills, director. As for me, I'm just here to have fun and treat everyone to something good. We all worked really hard. I like her voice year. acting a lot. I actually saw Paimon's voice actor okay, talk about Hu Tao of Brianna Knickerbockers. Um uh, and of course, voice acting for her very cringy English now. performance. <laughs> one thing that everyone on that things. TikTok video agreed on was, oh my gosh, Rutao, shush, shush, shush. shush. One most of <laughs> but yeah, um, I, be I believe it was uh, Karina Bedger, Paimon's voice actor, talking about how Brianna Knickerbocker, uh, Hutao's voice actress, um, the whole experience, uh, do you know, doing the the English version of the song, which I've heard the Chinese version, it's good. But yeah, the um, the comment section pretty much agreed with Karina Butker with about how um, you know um the the direction it was really the fault of the the direction of the localization team when it came to um the the trans the localization for the rap <laughs> that's all i have to say about the situation i like it but i indeed i agree it can be pretty cringy the english version i mean it's because she said that i was gonna be here wasn't it it wasn't as complicated as you think not long ago at wong shu in again <laughs> Okay, Why gotcha. is my controller on Thanks, fire? Lady. 
My controller is really warm for boss, some lady, reason. Just boss. Just boss. <sighs> and there she goes. What a lively girl. <laughs> Conqueror of demons, adept as shall. Adept as shall. Hero of Dihua Marsh. Oh my gosh, how many titles does he have? I know you're there. I know you're there. Gosh, imagine Xiao Hu Tao and Ganyu in the same room together. The peace. <laughs> Sorry. You cannot but stand you her. Show up if I didn't yell your name, would you? Of course. I know you. You're the 77th director. 77th? I forgot she was that number. Is there something you need? Well, what happened after that? We don't actually know what happened. <laughs> that does sound like one of Hu Tao's What did Hu Tao antics? exactly tell him to did convince him to come here? Did agree to come so that Hu Tao would stop pestering him? Oh. Be other no, what's the actual reason? <laughs> Smart guess. Huh? There's more to it? What it is it? It's pretty boring from here on. I talked about the funeral parlor's past relationships with the guardian yakshas. Oh. You know? Just to be sociable. <laughs> In the time of the Archon War, disputes were frequent, and disaster overtook. Oh, the land. so you were definitely in need of a funeral parlor back then. <laughs> the plague, nor could they escape death. The Adepti vanquished the demons. The Millilith fought valiantly, and Wang oh, Chung Funeral the was responsible for purifying the diseased and sending off the spirits of the dead. Oh. That is how the border between life and death was maintained during the war. Hertel has still has one of the best story quests in the game, happening. by the way. As much as I like That's roasting her, her no, score story quest quests is one of the best. But despite our deep-rooted connection, it still took me quite a while to actually convince him. Was he worried about his karma? You know him pretty well, huh? Of course I do. This matter is out of my control, so I need to be cautious. True, but I've kept that in mind too. <laughs> That's why everyone here today is. Oh, we all have a vision. That's the right. We're all vision holders. Besides, it'll only be for a short while as we dine together. Wait, what there about Paimon? Is Paimon associated with elemental power? Oh no, somebody call up Mensleaf. So we need an explanation. There's no need to worry, Conqueror of Demons. We're not feeling anything unusual so far. Our young For exorcist now. over here is protected by his pure yang energy. Oh so my gosh. In fact, I'm surprised Xiao isn't like... Th has a rash because of Chong Yun. It is the same. Did you just toss your carrots into my bowl? Hey, don't Why does she to keep pranking him? What? I cannot what believe we're third wheeling right you? now. I saw that too. <laughs> You're lucky Guoba isn't here today. He hates seeing people being Sing Chu, with I forgot Sing Chu's ficky with his but food. Did, have that? we always known that? He'd definitely make you eat all your carrots. We need Sing Chu hang out of an except he, he's he's stuck in story quest jail. Hmm. But now that I think they have never it, done a story Shaolin quest for a four star character since launch, <laughs> since 1.0, by the way. It's so like sad. I hope they start doing hangout events soon again. Hmm. Is everything okay? Doing fine. Oh. <laughs> long ago, Traveler being Lincoln concerned Ride, about Shao. I'm gonna Next sob. This seems everything I Things want. Been a lot more stable than before. This is exactly what I wanted in my first lantern room. I was like, where is my dinner with Shao? What's your, who's your old friend? Is it that one bird? Shao has a world quest, by the way, where you're helping out one of the fallen uh, uh, Yaksha, I believe. An old friend. You should know him. He's... <sighs> Hello? Seeds of story. Who is this? By the wind. And cultivated by time. Uh, did Paima just unconsciously Wait, complete that? You completed game? this? Who is this? Voice. Could it be? Hello? Hmm? If I'm not mistaken, there's someone knocking at the door. Who is this? I don't recognize the voice. Go welcome our guest in. Just sit no there. Such need. I'm coming in. Wait a second. That's Venti. I know that voice. Oh, not the wind. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he busted me. in. Hello, hello. Oh, no. no. Venti's about to make this old man this angry. Brand new encounter. Old friends and new. Happy lantern ride. What are you doing here? Oh, it's the tone deaf bard. Yep, he sure is tone deaf. He's not reading the room. 
Oh yeah, it's your vision. It's your vision <laughs> elemental guy. Wherever he goes. Oh wait, no, no, I remember. Like I think a, there's a cutscene in this game where Shaz like Venti's melody calms so him down or some eat. something like that. Yeah, I don't I remember. It's been years. Yourself, it's been years, y'all, since I've seen that cutscene. Mm -hmm. This young lady here is as bright as a fresh bouquet of flowers in the morning's rising sun. That's sure one way she to describe her. The one with the most authority here. Whoa, these dishes look amazing. Oh, they, actually, really they do look kind of yummy. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, don't in. offer him free food. Oh, he'll, he'll never leave at this rate. Oh, isn't this genu? Gen oh, genu? from Irodori? No, don't give away his pen name. Uh, yep. Now that I've taken uh, a yep. closer look, you're a fan of Genu's works, aren't you? I met Sing Cho at a light novel convention. Yeah, <laughs> years, no, years ago. Sooner. I never expected that there'd be another person in this world who could interpret Gen Yu's new novel as thoroughly as I could. Venti, you're being too humble. Considering your poetic talent, your fundamentals Wait, aren't these two the same voice impressive. actor? No, they're not. No, they're not. I thought they were. Could this new guest be Master Sing Cho's friend? Let me, I think Bennett, no, Bennett shares a voice actor with one of these two. I think it's Sing Chu, but it's been so long. It's been so long. Looks like Xiao knows him too. Yes, yes. Yeah, you do Monsters know him. Monsters become more active than usual as we get closer to Lantern Right. I was patrolling Dihua Marsh a few days ago. And, and you I ran into, run into this. This. But isn't he the one who's you saying some mel soothing melodies I'm for you? Bard, Spoony Bard. And bards go around singing wherever they like. Oh, right. <laughs> bard was performing in Dihuan Or maybe maybe she was trying to hide the fact that who Vent that Venti is a And it made me feel relaxed and at ease. I couldn't help but stay and listen. <laughs> Thank you for I think Xiao's patience. trying to hide who who Venti is because that isn't the first time Venti played a soothing melody for Xiao. I understand now too. Oh God, these are gonna be the girls Wang are Shung fighting. Is currently working at the Wang Sheng funeral parlor. No. It's a pleasure to meet you, new, new friend. friend. Mm -hmm. What and a lie. Oh, and if there's anything unsatisfactory, oh my gosh. let me know. Oh my is so rude to Zhang Li. Oh my gosh. Oh? Hmm. No wonder. Only a boss as savvy and reliable as but you I'm sure you, you definitely know that he's impressive. Person. Gosh, I hate the fact that <laughs> well, nice half of this room knows who brag, each other actually is, and they're just taking advantage of that. His knowledge extends across the stars in the land, and there's nothing throughout history that he doesn't know. From the sophisticated way he speaks, it's hard not to suspect that he could very well be an adeptus in disguise. <laughs> her her does have a voice line suggesting that she th re thinks that Zhang Li is more than what he appears. So She's not exactly adeptus? sure yet. Do you think it might be possible? <laughs> I... Oh no, you're making him Sorry. all nervous. I'm only good at conquering demons. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have oh, much poor Shao. Crying. Uh, really? But Paimon thinks you're super knowledgeable. Paimon, just play along. Huh? You're, tr oh, you're oh, gonna oh, give it away. Right. You're right. Uh, Shao's a warrior. He doesn't come to the city very often. Oh my so gosh, Paimon, uh, just shows uh, your big mouth. No, anything. Oh my gosh, who tells gonna see right through that? Eh? Really? Sure. I've actually heard a few things about Mr. Zhongli before. The guests in the tavern talked about this refined and courteous man who, instead of having wine at Mondstadt's finest tavern, ordered a cup of hot tea with the most complex name. Oh, oh at Mondstadt. I seem to recall that there indeed is a musician like yourself in Mondstadt. I've heard that he's you mean during the tea drinking event? His works witty and vibrant. Because I think Zhang Li was there no for the tea drinking event. I love that event. Bard in oh, now you're making me embarrassed. Embarrassed. I would say that Mondstadt's poetry is a little run of the mill sometimes. There's one I heard a while back that went, uh, The old house is renewed. 
Welcoming the spring breeze, awakening old memories. The meaning's there, but the word choices are unimaginative, and there's a distinct lack of literary flair. Mm. I think so, too. The composition needs a little jazzing up. If I were to give it a go, I'd make it... An old melon on a vine, a new flower that grows fine. Oh, good one! It feels unique and has a nice ring to it. <laughs> you have great taste, Bendy. I was afraid about you. Let's shake hands. Let's of shake course, hands. Of course, of hmm. course. <laughs> Man, Jogli and Shower just like, what the heck? We, we need a few books when we get back. They, 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 they want to say so ones. much, but they just can't. I don't know if it's my own lack of literary knowledge, but I couldn't tell the difference between it's those so two. so funny. I don't think it's your fault. Chung Yoon's right. It's not our fault. It's not your fault at all. Oh my gosh, this is such a... Look at the tiny text crammed into this box. I need my reading glasses. Paimon, come watch and learn from Hu Tao and Venti. This will come in handy for your ugly nicknames. Oh, you have a point. But speaking of, why is the tone deaf bard here? Wait, are what you are you doing here? How did you know this was happening? I heard that Liyue will be hosting a Lantern Rite music festival this year. As a musician myself, hey. how could I possibly it's resist over. the temptation Venti. to come take a look? The festival's over. Or listen, getting to know other musical styles is essential to sparking inspiration, don't you think? Wait a second, the music festival wasn't planned beforehand, so how did he catch wind of this? Get As it? For catch the wind? friend who hosted the festival, I saw him near Stone Gate the other day. The Iridescence Tour has finally been held successfully for once. <gasps> oh, so what is the Iridescence Tour? Yeah, held successfully for once. So Venti knows about the Iridescence Tour. Don't think anything of it. By the way, I was watching as you entered Shinue Kiosk, but no one seemed to notice me. Yeah, oh, you were watching I'm us? Certain hiding, or that a certain someone deliberately ignored the sound of the wind. I think a certain someone did. <laughs> Whenever Lantern Rite comes around, Leo Harbor becomes bustling with activity. It's too noisy for Zhongli to hear. People are all busy watching the lanterns <laughs> and strolling around the shops, and they might just go travel somewhere on a whim. It is rather difficult to predict another's whereabouts. <laughs> the festival is in full swing and proceeding smoothly. And we're all gathered here with friends, new and old. This is no doubt a wonderful occasion worth celebrating. To come together with all of you at the beginning of the year, one can't help but be filled with joy. In a moment like this, mm -hmm. I propose we raise a glass together. In my case, tea in lieu of wine. Me too, Zhongli. I'm more <sighs> of a tea person too. Chow, what's wrong? Very well said, Mr. <laughs> Zhongli. <laughs> That was What's exactly what I wanted to say. Uh, now I'm getting a little self-conscious. I didn't cause you too much trouble barging in like that, did nah, I? Ah, you're the life of the party. We usually drink wine during occasions like this over in Mondstadt, but since <laughs> Mr. Zhang Li and Venti just Venti, tea, don't get drunk. You I'll might be a blabbermouth. Everyone, thanks for the treat. Mm hmm. You're welcome. As the host of this gathering, I hope everyone enjoys the food and drinks. May this year be better than the last. Considering oh, that everyone may have me. other matters to attend to later, sticking to tea seems like a good idea. Yeah, it's uh, a pretty good idea. Now what's wrong? All of a sudden, you started proposing toast. Should, should we? Now, Wait, why are we yelling at Xiao? What's with the urgency? Would you like to go on a walk with me? <sighs> sure. Yes. Perfect. Have you two finished eating? For now. It's always nice to have a breath of fresh air after a meal. Helps with digestion. It helps with digestion? Um, but <laughs> I, know I thought the simple act of walking around did. I'm on, I know you're still hungry, right? Come on, don't let don't you don't have to be here for this scene. We'll be back soon, smile. Oh, A scene then. just with Xiao and Don't Ether. To come back. Perfect. It's everything I wanted. Wait, let me switch to Traveler. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, wait, can I read their minds? Oh lord. Uh, let me switch to you. You. Just what will we? Can I read their minds? No, Nahida's power does not work on them. Sad. What do y'all gotta say? About you and Venti. Mm. Oh yeah, they're <laughs> they, they, you know they know each other. Could he be a partner in your family business? That's sort right. of. You know how my family is. A lot of business secrets can't just be divulged at the dinner table. Ah, just as I thought. <laughs> Xiangling? Did you talk about anything interesting before we started the meal? Anything fun I missed out on? Not really. Oh, we were talking about just cooking. cooking. <laughs> Mr. Xiangli told us that he went on a trip to Chaoyang Village the other day and got a hold of some uncommon ingredients. Tea seed oil and sesame oil. He suggested I try using those in my new dishes. Oh, no wonder he left his post for so long that day. Those ingredients. Oh, someone's trying to join my world. Well, uh, I don't know who you are, so bye. I guess I'll need his help next time as well. I guess. <laughs> I'm on what you got to say. You're not allowed to leave Paimon here alone. To be honest. Just enjoy. You I'm won't be alone. You'll have the food. Nothing. Yeah, that's why you're not coming with us. All right, you two. It seems like our new friend is an expert in wine. Oh, you know, you I already know. No such praise. I only drink for fun. It's nothing compared to your expertise. Zhongli knows literally everything. Today. What if I got drunk and said something nonsensical? Oh, you know, I think you would say something a lot more than just nonsensical. Just met. No such thing. I think you would blabber I something that you're not supposed to say. The director's guest. Oh my god, these two. Alright, Shao, let's go. Let's depart. You go ahead. Uh Alright, let's go. Look at them! Oh my gosh. Are you alright? I feel like I'm in an Otome scene. Oh my gosh, I should be the one asking you that. I... It's hard to describe. You're unfamiliar with gatherings like this? It's not that. There were those among the Adepti who loved gatherings and idle chit-chat. <laughs> Sometimes they would call up a few others like... for a drink. Even I got dragged along to their gatherings many times. Uh. The Adepti all have their specialties, making most of them proud and arrogant. <laughs> Everything they say is straight from the heart. It never gets too complicated. <laughs> but this time... It's all Venti's fault! No, no. I didn't mean that. So you know his true identity. I'll get straight to the point then. The Animo Archon is a free spirit. And his temperament is as carefree as the music he plays on the flute. It's easy for a god like him to live in harmony with humans. Unlike you. And that's something Wah. I might never be able to do. You don't have to be like them. That's what makes you you and why you're one of my faves. Hmm. That does sound like something you would say. <laughs> oh my gosh, no I'm telling you, I feel like I I'm in a Notome. <laughs> Whenever I think of the ordinary conversations I've had with you, it feels strangely novel. Y'all, so at my show is at friendship level 10. Y'all need to listen to his teapot voice lines. They are literally just something else, man. Yes. <laughs> the parlor director went out of her way with the invitation. So it was difficult to turn her down. Mental preparations. I had made mental preparations before agreeing to come. She told me that all the guests today would be acquainted with elemental power. And I knew that you would be here. But I didn't expect the other guests to be. No one would have General guessed Confucius at all. General always said that we should live in the present and enjoy every pleasure. No one surprise. would have guessed at all. Perhaps, but I think he meant designing clothes for those around him. What? It was he an adept eye about designed, designing clothes? But inconvenient to wear. Brother Bosatius never tried to hide his distaste mm -hmm. in front of him. Rex Lapis did like his designs and even collected quite a few. The outfit he wears oh, now is I also love designed Zhang Li's by outfits. General Confucius himself. I never saw him wear this during the war. I didn't expect him to start wearing it later. Oh, here you are. 
Hi, Xiangling. Uh, Nothing. Not intruding, right? Yes, you are. You're intruding on a very romantic scene. How dare you? You're not. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Never mind. Uh, Hu Tao saw that everyone's done eating and asked the staff to bring out the desserts. Oh, desserts. Paimon got so anxious that you weren't back yet that she scarfed down her dessert without the usual slurping and munching. But not so anxious that she can't eat. Sounds like she'll be okay. And to be honest, I was kind of worried too. You looked a little restless just now, and I thought you weren't used to the food here and was planning to head back to Wangshu Inn for something Yan Chao made. No, we know your rivals with Yan Chao. You're worrying too much. Chao, don't pull any lem. <laughs> Is that that's his elemental skill? Is he just either trying to say that Chao shouldn't dash away? Why would I? <laughs> anyway, let's head back. Please wait. Hmm? There's another reason why I came looking for you. Here, take these. I brought them for you. Almond tofu? <gasps> His favorite! Yup. Since the masterful chef's competition, That's his favorite you can food. see that Xiao and I are not only competitors, but good friends as well. I visit him at Wang Shuin sometimes to discuss our cooking. I heard him say that the esteemed guest on the roof loves nothing more than a good plate of almond tofu. So I learned a thing or two about the dish from him. I'll be honest, before Hu Tao invited everyone, she secretly came looking for me, told me about the guests she planned to invite, and asked me for some suggestions on what she should order. So oh, and you knew that Xiao almond likes almond tofu. Take them as a token of gratitude for your support. Yeah. When I told Guoba that I was making these for you, he started eagerly running around the kitchen <gasps> and helping a lot too. Probably because Guoba knows Xiao. Well... Guoba slightly no I remember Xiao ever so slightly. Thank you, Xiangling Thank you and Guoba. The there was no need to uh, um... I'll take them. Thank you. <laughs> and Guoba too. You're welcome. Oh, the almond tofu I made probably tastes and feels a little different from the type Yan Xiao cooks. Please let me know if there's any improvements I should make. Okay. Okay. No, <laughs> Xiao's all. being nice to Quite people. Right. It makes me so now. happy because he's usually such a frumpy dumpy. Leaving. Wait, they're gone. No. Oh, we whispered more than that so to each other, time, I hope. <laughs> more than just that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need my reading glasses again. We were pretty quick. You're only angry because you got no sense of time. How could you say that to Paimon? <sighs> In that case, besides having no sense of time... I'm about to look Paimon up some Shao you know, Traveler no tags on AO3 like. after this. Your dessert is all Paimon's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry to keep everyone waiting. No worries, we're all just chatting here. There's no serious business to take care of. Whether we're chatting outside or inside, it's all the same. Strive to be more like Hu Tao, Paimon. Hmm. <laughs> Paimon's too busy eating to talk to you. <laughs> and even though we're all well acquainted by now, I think this festive gathering deserves something ceremonious. Oh? Is this some local custom? Nope. Nope. <laughs> this is something I made up so that good luck will be on our side. That's all. That's all. Spontaneity is the best choice to make here. Um, let's use this incense burner on the table. It's been mm -hmm. lit for so long now that the incense is running out. I'll leave refilling and lighting the incense to the most distinguished guest among us all. Lighting the incense will signify continuous growth and prosperity in all our endeavors in the new year. I see. Perfect symbolism, as expected of Hu Tao. And speaking of the most distinguished guest here today, I'm sure we all agree that it's, it's Mr. Missing. Zhang Li. Menti, I thought you said I'm you were going to keep everything down low. I'm not very familiar with the details of his past deeds, 
but chatting with him has been a real eye-opener. Even for a bard who has traveled My all gosh. across the world. My gosh, didn't even eat their shaking his head. A form of power, one could even say that you're a wielder of unlimited strength. But when it comes to having a way these with words, two. the notable bard is certainly Gosh, one these two, the I, I don't even know what they're I doing here. Are name. they trying to like backhandedly insult each other skill, or... <laughs> you made it sound like an unparalleled talent. Are they trying to like compliment impressed. each other without actually Since being like... get to nominate someone. Being like, you know, hey, they're Archons. Mm-hmm. I think it's only fair that we let the parlor director light the incense. Huh? <laughs> that won't do. Don't flatter me just because I'm your boss. <laughs> we are looking for the most distinguished guest here. As the host, I shouldn't be involved in this discussion at all. Now that we've enjoyed this table full of delicacies, how about we let our one and only chef here do the honors? Um, is this really the way this works? I didn't cook any of these dishes. It's not a big deal. Just look at her. Xiangling, the disciple the of the Adeptus, the stove god's best companion, the winner of the Masterful Chef's competition. <laughs> oh my gosh, all three of them did the heir of the famous one meter. Why are we all praising each a other? Old friend of mine. There's no better choice. <laughs> uh, why does Paimon feel like we're What is with these camera angles? Is? For a distinguished guest, surely the second son of the Fayum Commerce Guild counts. It's one of the largest commerce guilds in Liyue Harbor. Huh? Don't get me involved in this. Oh, not a bad choice. Oh my gosh, not the, the applause. <laughs> I'm actually said, losing my mind at the amount of praising everyone's trying to do for enemy. each other. That's not how it works. Making a fortune is indeed a fine wish. But it's of lesser importance than good health and happiness. Which means we should choose Chong Yun, the skilled exorcist oh who keeps everyone's home safe from evil spirits. Huh? Oh, not now these applauses. This is I so can't silly. See the when we have the conqueror of demons right here. Adeptus Shao has the most seniority among everyone here today. We should. I refuse. I am most certainly not the most distinguished guest here. If you sit, look, there is only one valid answer, and the answer is your crush, the Traveler. You should all be able to make the right judgment based on your observations. It's me! Yeah, of course Shao would nominate me. One person here is well acquainted with everyone else. It is I. Hi. Look at all the expressions. Not all of them doing the same pose. Oh, that's right. Even though you're always mocking Paimon, you're still pretty popular with other people. Of course he is. No, wait! Paimon said she wouldn't talk to you again. I'm not the only well-connected person here, though. Huh? Who else is there? You! Huh? Because you've been huh? with me this entire time. Does that mean Paimon's the most distinguished guest? <laughs> I agree. Paimon's just the one we need. Without a friend constantly by your side, a long journey would become dreadfully lonesome. But once you have someone there to brighten up the atmosphere, everything along the way will become lively and vibrant too. Uh, the Traveler has traversed many nations and left behind a great deal of fascinating stories. But without Paimon, they would have become quite monotonous. Paimon plays an indispensable role in making your journey a happy and smooth one. You guys... Paimon's not used to being praised like that. Uh, those were genuine compliments, right? Fine, Paimon, you're the best child companion ever, I Thank guess. You. You made Paimon wait for a long time, but Paimon's not mad anymore. Don't take everything to heart, Paimon. Friends tease each other all the time. All the time. Mm. That is indeed true. That means Paimon is as important to the Traveler as Guova is to me. 
Looks like we've come to an agreement. Any objections before we proceed? I trust the Traveler's judgment. Then Paimon it is. And now, the world's most excellent Traveler's greatest companion, guide, and friend. Paimon oh my gosh, did we just play Uno? I just realized, have we been playing Uno this entire scene? It's like, tag your it, tag your it. Take the match, and uh, don't burn yourself. But if things go wrong, two, two for, two for one, one. Not the coupon hotel. I miss everyone's laughter and applause. So, so I'm on the clumsy lights to incense. You have a all relaxed heart to heart chat until nightfall. Now that everyone's had their delicious food and tea, it's time to say goodbye. getting late mm. i won't take up any more of your time you're all free to go as you please thanks for the treat director who yep. the tea was amazing too you don't have to go all polite on me hmm, let's mm -hmm. see it's dark out so i'm going to accompany xiang ling sing cho and chong yun back home as for the rest of the guests I'll leave them to our consultant. No oh, what perfect I'm split! To harbor to meet a friend on the ship. Ooh, no is it Kazuha? Mr. Zhang Li. I, think I have a feeling that's Kazuha. About. Come meet me anytime. Of course I will. It was great getting to know you all. Let's meet again when the spring breeze begins to blow. Oh, for Monstats Festival? I I think Venti teased a possible Monstat Festival in the future. Maybe when Bloom will finally get a run rerun. We'll catch I you hope. All later, then. We will catch you later. Goodbye, Don't director. Don't forget to return to the parlor later. There's something I need you to do. What do you need me to do? Understood. Oh wait, Zhang Li. Okay. Bye. <sighs> well then. Rex Lapis. Just Zhang Li will do. I live as a mortal in Liu Han. Just Zhang Li. Oh. I am just one among many who begin work at sunrise and retire to rest at sundown. Aww. If we were to consider status and seniority as Zhongli, I should be respectfully Aww, referring to you Xiao. as Adeptus Shao. Uh, heaven forbid. Adeptus Shao. Not you too. <laughs> of course I have to. I meant what I said. Do do do. Adeptus Shao. During the Lantern Rite Music Festival, you conferred with Streetward Rambler and Cloud Retainer. Yeah. I take it as you've gained a lot more knowledge yeah, about the Zhang. past. The same truth will sound different coming from different people. Well, Zhang, as you were also there. Are you going to tell story, us about what happened? Feelings and interpretations expand in variety, too. I once had a pleasant chat about the past and present with a Sumeru scholar named Soraya. Oh, I see her all the time. You don't want to know some of the quests I had to do for her. Believe me, it was awful. It's, uh, her quests were actually awful. <laughs> But yeah, um, there was something I wanted to talk about. Um, oh yeah, I saw a lot of cute posts uh, shipping a uh, cloud retainer and Gui Zhang together, and I can see that. I can see that. I think those ships are valid. From the evidence she found and the conclusion she made, her area of research is already very close to the truth. Oh, interesting. Because Zhang Li actually knows what happened. But there are multiple sides to humans and gods alike. In the legends recorded by humans, some gods were depicted as arrogant and condescending, while others were kind and capable. But whether to me, Streetward Rambler, Cloud Retainer, or younger Adepti, I forgot that Xiao and Gan, you are considered younger Adepti. Adepti. And gods that may seem extraordinary wow. to humans are something more akin to close companions. This was as true back then as it is right now. Just how Xiao may seem unapproachable to most, but the traveler has Of course proved I prove otherwise. So there's no need to dwell too much on certain things. Rex La <coughs> Rex I mean, Zhang Li. Li. What you're saying is It looks like you understood what I meant. Ah. <laughs> the director asked me to accompany you on your return. But I don't think you'll need my protection. Of course not. I'll be taking a walk around and admiring the night scenery. 
Can I get the scene with Shao from the, the promotional video? I would love that. After that, it'll be time for me to go back and meet up with the director. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now, Zhongli. Bye, Zhongli. Everyone's gone now. Paimon always feels a little empty inside when a lively celebration ends. But at least you always stay by Paimon's side. No, no, no. Paimon got it mixed up. Paimon, the best and most distinguished travel guide, will always stay by your side, traveler. I'm afraid there will be a lot to ask you in the future too, most distinguished Paimon. <laughs> Good that you are aware of that. <laughs> Shell, is there anything else you want to do? We could take you on a tour. We get to go on a stroll with Shell, please, for me. I would love to. No need. I've stayed here for much longer than I had expected. The city lights are a No, fine don't leave. But it's time for me to leave. Don't leave either. When the events of today occurred so abruptly, I appreciate your kindness. The feeling's mutual. You don't have to thank me every time. Okay. I'll see you next time then. No, he just poofed. No. Are we done? Oh, that is it. That is the epilogue between facades and familiar faces. Is there no more? Well, that was a really sweet ending. I think. I think that's it. I don't I I'm not sure, but I think we are finally, finally done with the event story. And I I loved it. I loved it. Um wait, 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 wait. But first, but first, I would like to thank the Genshin Impact Memes Twitter account because they actually listed where you can find all the characters in Lantern, right? And we're going to start with Zhongli. Because he should be all the way over here. He is over in Wanmin Restaurant with freaking Guopa. They're, they're in there. I think they're in here somewhere. Where are, where are y'all? Oh, this is the wrong restaurant. We need this one. Look at them! Look at Zhongli and Gwoba! Wait, let me take a photo. There. Gwoba! Gwoba just standing there! Gwoba's standing there is so awkward. Hi! Surprised to see me here? It's the director's orders. Xiongling worked all day and night at the restaurant during the festival no. and didn't get to have any time to enjoy the festivities. The director sent me here mm. to help out in the kitchen. Oh, so that's what That's what her town made her made him do. Wow. Work with someone as hard working as you around. There seems to be nothing much for me to do. Feels good I still haven't done any of the mini games. I know I need to get I want to get that constellation for Yao Yao. Perhaps oh, Li and Quoba. Supreme cuisine machine to speed things up. That would be a good idea. You would still prefer to make them by hand. Of course, Quoba does. Of course. I, you know, it's so funny that Li understands Quoba perfectly. It's so funny to me. It's like Pokemon. Okay, so over in this corner of the harbor, I don't know what the heck they're doing here, but Wu Tao, Xiangling, Xingqiu, and Chongyun are. Over here. I don't, again, I don't know what they're doing here. But they're over here. Where are they? Are they at the top of this thing? Oh, Lord, help me. Um, I think they're at the top of this building, but I don't know how to get all the way up there. Where are they? Let me see. According to the map, they should be... I think they're... Where are they? It says they should be over... Oh my god, I can't find them. Oh, they're down there! Yeah, I don't know what the heck they're doing over here. What are you doing all the way out here? <laughs> Sing Cho, you have to be honest. Hmm? Honest about what? How did you and Venti really meet? Yeah, how did y'all really, you really meet? Of course, you tell Sauter's uh, a lie. Aren't they book buddies? <laughs> yeah, 
We met a few times at a book convention. That's all. Oh, That's really? all. With that extraordinary demeanor and literary talent, he's definitely not just any bard. If he's someone that could hold his ground in a conversation with a consultant, he needs to at least be as talented as me. <laughs> um, perhaps you're overthinking this matter. I think you are overthinking uh, this matter. Hu Tao, Xinchou wouldn't lie to us. Uh, okay. he's not... I'll tell oh, you okay. the truth. Yeah, tell the truth. Huh? Oh, poor Xiangling. I'm actually a fan of Venti's poetry. Oh, you with another lie. Reading, and sometimes come across poetry from Mondstadt. Among those works, I admire the ones penned by Venti the most. Just as Hu Tao said, his artistry well, is a reflection Well, Xing Chu isn't exactly lying. Remarkable grace yeah, he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. I guess Venti didn't tell you the whole truth back at the restaurant because he didn't want to embarrass me in front of everyone. He's such a He's just trying person. not to draw attention to but himself yes, because right. he doesn't want people to know he's that. the Archon. When Sing Cho was busy with other things, he asked me to buy him poetry books in secret. In secret? That didn't sound like too much of a big deal. You could have told us right away. Well, I'm telling you now, aren't I? Oh, so that's <laughs> your story. Ugh, forget it. Let's drop this topic. That's your story. It does still together. doesn't sound like she's convinced. She Hide and seek, hopscotch, or some shopping? Since there's four of us, why don't we borrow a mahjong? Mahjong? Set? Oh my gosh, I've never played mahjong, y'all. I would be, be really, really bad. Do they have any new dialogue, or is that it? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Skip, 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 skip. Why are you... Uh, yeah. Oh, with that extra... If he's someone that... Um... Okay, so we still have plenty of people to talk to in Liyue Harbor. I guess Venti did Yes, when Sing Cho was busy. I see. Okay, so they don't repeat dialogue. Forget it. It's not often. Since there's four. Okay, next up, we want to go all the way over to the terrace because I don't know why, but Yelan is nowhere to be found during this event. But, if we go over to this part of the harbor, you can find Bei Dol and Ningguang out on a date. For some reason. No, but, you know, for some reason. Where's Bei Dol? Yeah, look at these two sapphics. Hello. Bei Dol and Ningguang. Hey, don't tell me you called me over for oh just a game of chess. Chess and chill? You have to be more specific, Captain Beto. Is it that oh, you these two are such a couple? An uninteresting activity, or that you're unhappy about my lack of novel ideas? <laughs> if you don't specify what you mean, how could I know what I should do to please you? <laughs> to please uh, her, huh? I make a single remark and you reply with a full-blown lecture. Oh my god, these Maybe two. Maybe deal with all official affairs publicly in the future. Y'all are too. Y'all need to get a room. I'm happy with that. I'm just worried that Captain Beto's business <laughs> might be negatively affected. It would be such a shame if Don't it was. Give me that. That woman from Yenshang Tea House sometimes comes aboard to ask for information. She requested the fleet to some goods, but how could I not know who she's actually working for? Oh. oh. <laughs> you sure know a lot, Captain Beto. How about I ask her to come over? Or maybe we go straight to her tea house. With Where's one Yelan? Around, we'll be able to have some variety in our chess games. I hope that that would be less of a bore to you. <laughs> so, we're still gonna play chess after all. I feel so bad. Yelan is nowhere to be found. I'm gonna check her tea house. Nobody in the replies to this Genshin memes account confirmed that Yelan is indeed somewhere <laughs> around here. But I'll check the tea house if I remember where it even is. Crying out loud. Oh my god, Traveler. What a nut. What a dive. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Yelan is nowhere to be found. Where is she again? I think this is her house over here. Let me check. I'm pretty sure Yelan is nowhere to be found here. Yeah, because this is, this is Yelan's... Bye. One of these is Yelan's house. I think this is it. But yeah, as you can see, they are not here. So, I already talked to them in a previous part. I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna check to make sure they don't have new dialogue. Baiju and Chi Chi are... Uh, can be found over here. We talked to them in the previous video. 
But again, I'll just check to see that they don't have new dialogue. Oh my gosh, where where are they? Where is Baiju and Chi Chi? Oh my gosh. They should be down here. Where yeah, there they are. Do y'all got new dialogue? The lantern right celebrations are getting better by the year. Such wonderful music. I don't think they do, but I want to listen Dr. to them again. Baiju? I've brought the herbs. Who are they for? Who are they for? The singers. Oh, to soothe their, their their vocal cords. Demanding. Using these herbs in good time will protect their voices from damage. Oh, that's why you were preparing them all night. <laughs> I dared not neglect the Yu Hung's request. Oh, I think that's Kaching. The messenger was quite insistent oh, that it does take care. top priority. Let me double check again. This one is for Wu Tao or Xinyan. Ah. That was sweet. Dvorak is also over there. Let me talk to these two. I'm pretty sure they also have the same dialogue. Yunjin and Shinyan. Okay. Now I need to get a yeah, they do. My next song. Listen to you. You only just fulfilled one lifetime dream. Are you really thinking about your next goal already? Of course she Don't is. Don't tell me you ain't the same way. I bet you've already thought up a name for your next opera, <laughs> haven't we you? We all gotta be thinking about the, the new year. <laughs> you know me too well, Xinyan. The Adeptus Seeking Voyage. How does that sound? Oh, I'm very man. good at finding Adepta. Y'all yeah, should talk to me. Picture it. I've also got just the finishing line for it. I'll close with, and the celestial melody echoed through the clouds. Oh, uh, imagine if that's how the Genshin story. Imagine if that was the last line of dialogue we would hear in the Genshin story. Forevermore. The Vorjak is all the way over here. His voice actor actually made a video saying that he voice acted. I hope he voice acts a playable character here soon. Maybe in Fontaine. Absolutely magnificent. You mean the show? Yes. When I heard the music coming from up in the clouds, I was so stunned I could barely think or move. I felt like mm -hmm. it had a special kind of hold over me. <laughs> hmm. Or maybe it was the adeptal power within the music. And the ensemble at the end was truly sublime. I felt like I would have started to cry if I hadn't been one of the performers on the stage. That's sweet. Okay, next. Magnificent! What are your well, plans for the future? Tian Shuen of the Li Yue Qixing has invited me to visit her again at Yujing Terrace to discuss a long-term Ooh, maybe, this will, maybe you'll have a rerun, dude. I do hope everything goes well and that we have more opportunities to collaborate in the future. The next time we have another performance, you'll have to come. I will save the Maybe best it'll be Moon Chase and maybe it'll be Lantern, right? We'll see. Magnificent! Maybe Abs it'll be in Fontaine. <laughs> maybe you'll have an event with Liyue over there. In person. This is what she said. It is only natural oh, Madam to Ping. When we see someone in distress. The wonderful music you brought to Liyue is worth far more than gratitude. Truly, I, I felt so honored. But I've also made a decision for myself. I will strive to create even more wonderful, original music for this era. Our era. I think I also said that yesterday. Okay, I know they also have the, they're, they're also going to probably have the exactly same dialogue, but in case you didn't watch my previous video, I'm just going to show them off anyway. Over in Qingxi Village are Yao Yao and Madam Ping and Yanfei. They're just chilling over here. Where's Yao Yao? Yeah, Yao Yao's over here. Yao Yao's the most wholesome little short character in this game. So I want a Yao Yao hangout. And all the grandmas and grandpas in Qingxi Village had a great time too. So why Qingxi Village? Mean, what am I doing here? Well, just now, I did a performance for everyone. Although I can't play an instrument anywhere <laughs> She's so sweet. Well master, I can still sing. Look at her little Even rabbit in the bag Russians, there. I did a great job. She also gave me some candies. <laughs> I'm so happy. About the your master. She told me a lot of stories about the Adepti. There was Sky Bracer Aww. with the giant deer horns. And poor, and poor Sea Gazer. Gazer. Sometimes Master talks and talks for a long time. Yeah. Until her voice starts to sound She's sad. so many memories. But then she always breaks into a smile again and tells me all of the things each of them loved best about Li Yue. Yeah. I love everything about Li Yue. Some of the Adepti are gone I love now, Liyue too, but, but... It's okay, because I'm gonna help take care of everyone yeah, in Yeah, someday everything will reach their end. 
But we will always, so always have our memories. And all the I'm happy that Mr. Dvorak found the fairy lady from his story. And I'm also happy that it turned out it was Master all along. Also, <laughs> of course it was I Master. I helped out this time too, didn't I? So that means I was paying homage to my oh, master. Oh, 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 also, Mr. Dvorak got one of his oh, friends what to bring Fontaine it toy do you have? Fontaine. I like it a lot. At first... I didn't know whether I was supposed to accept it or what not. What toy is it? Fontaine's all about having crazy so mechanisms. All right, let me talk to her one more I'm time. So happy. See you. And see you. Make sure you take good <laughs> care of Paimon. <laughs> of course. Oh, and please come play with me if you ever have the time. Yeah, yeah, you deserve a hangout event. You deserve a hangout. I would do it. I actually would do it. She's so sweet. Hello, you too. <sighs> Granny, you play Granny. so beautifully. Do you think you could teach me? Oh, child, you simply never stop, do you? This festival is a rare chance to rest and relax. But here you are pestering me to teach you this, that, mm -hmm. and the other. <laughs> Don't worry, Granny. I'm a fast learner. And anyway, the sooner I start learning, the sooner we'll be able to perform a duet together. A musical duo is only as good as its weakest link. So you gotta teach me all your secrets, okay? All right, mm -hmm. all right. Well, you can start by making me some more tea and leaving it to cool on the side. <laughs> sure, Granny. A simple start. I hope Yanfei gets a proper story quest and not the freaking teapot unlock. I hate that she, this, she, that's her only permanent. Well, no, she has a chasm, but like her, her quest is supposed to be the teapot, which I never really liked. So if you go over to the Alcor, um, you can find, um, what is it? You can find Venti, who mentioned he was going to visit a certain somebody. He was going to visit Kazuha, since they know each other pretty well from Irodori. Where are these two? There they are, short kings. This is such a cool ship! <laughs> Facing the sea breeze and gazing out at the soaring seagulls. <sighs> Makes me want to sing out loud! Kazuha, how about I stay here and be the ship's resident bard? What are my prospects? With I don't think you'll be able to sit finesse, here. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Oh my gosh, I'm Kazuha. If the sailors aboard are not the most versed in the arts, they probably wouldn't understand the deeper meaning their poetry Kazuha's holds. trying to be nice to Venti. <laughs> you can't say that for sure. Poetry is spur-of-the-moment creations. Anyone viewing the same sights and experiencing the same atmosphere would surely understand. <sighs> There's a port in Mondstadt too, but I rarely get the chance to board any of the ships. Speaking of ships, everything's perfect about this one, except... Hmm? Um, Kazuha, could you tell your captain that my height says nothing of my age? I'm way <laughs> past drinking age. Yeah, Venti is this? very, we'll very past drinking age. But that's ship. what happens when you're a short king. Uh, it'll be a real shame if there isn't anything stronger mm -hmm. to enhance the food. Pretty please. There's not much I can do about that. It's not because Captain Beto's not on the ship right now, but because there's no room for negotiation on this matter. Aww. Even I have to sit in the no drinking zone. Kaza, well, Kaza, you have to sit in the no drinking zone because we know how you are. Just a few Trust me, more. Really more, 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 <laughs> These two are so silly. Okay, and I saved the last person. You know, I saved this person for last because we all know why. We have to go to Wangshu Inn and talk to a certain somebody here. I believe he's at his usual spot. Where is he? Well, actually, what am I saying? Where is he? We all know where he is. He's at his usual spot. Hi. We got to take a photo together. Wait, that's too close. Oh my gosh, I'm suck at I suck at doing the cameras in this. Oh my gosh. I'm actually sweating over here. I can't do the cameras to save my life. Oh my gosh. One day I'll push the right button. Save. 
Hello, Xiao. Yen Xiao just came up here with some almond tofu, but I haven't oh, finished just eat Shao all the almond tofu. Eat it all. You should try some too. Aw, thanks I'm for the offer. I'm not as experienced in tasting mortal food as you, and I couldn't tell the difference. Oh. <laughs> there must be many different stories to tell of the hustle and bustle of the mortal world too. You can tell me. I will listen. Of course. I'm glad you listen. Are, are you going to say anything else or is that it? Yen Shao just came up here. You should try some too. There must be many different stories to tell of the hustle and bustle of the Aww. world. Shao just wants to listen to the you traveler talk. I will listen. Aww. But yeah, this was such a good lantern ride. I enjoyed it. And I'm... I, I loved it, yeah. So, um, next up... I believe we have that event with the free Lisa outfit. I believe that is going to be voice acted. If not that, then the Arataki event is going to be voice acted. Some There's going to be one more voice acted event for this patch. So do keep a lookout on that. I will be covering that event whenever it drops. I hope it doesn't drop this weekend. I need I need a little bit of a break from Genshin. But yeah, I'm going to I'm going to end the recording here. I I've been here. This is my third Lantern ride. I've been here every year and I enjoy enjoy them all. This one might be my favorite just because of the character interactions. I think it might be my favorite Lantern Ride just because of all the character interactions. It was very good. It was very good lore we learned here too. I'll say it. Yeah, this is probably my favorite Lantern Ride. It was good. Anyone listening in, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let me know what y'all thoughts are of the events in the comment section below. And yeah, we I will be covering other JRPGs on the channel. Do keep a lookout on that. And uh, we'll be back with Genshin whenever they do a very good voice acted story centric event. Keep on a lookout. All right. Bye, friends. Wait, and goodbye, Xiao. <laughs> you can barely see him behind my webcam. All right, there. This is a good stop part, stop spot to end. Traveler and Xiao looking off together. All right. Goodbye. <laughs>